Hi there, it's Nina Nandagopal at almostpractical.com and today I want to introduce you to the Erin um, Condren Coiled Life Planner. If you are in the market for a planner, um, you might want to consider the Erin Condren Life Planner. It's one of my favorite planners. Um, if you go on her website, you'll see that there's a lot of different formats. There are, um, there's a life planner binder and a soft bound life planner but today what I'm talking about is the coiled life planner and that is the one that is spiral bound like this um, and it's really sort of the original it's the first one she came out with and it's um, I think it's still my favorite so um, so let me um, let me go into some of the um, the details about it uh, I think the first thing I want to talk about is that you know if there's one thing that I love the most or that really makes the life planner a unique planner, it makes it stand out from the, the crowd of all the planners that are out there, are the options that you have. Really, it's the options you have for customizing this planner to make it your own. And um, it's there's just so many ways to create a planner that is really all about you. So um, I'll just kind of go through each thing once one step at a time um, from the outside in so let's talk about the coil uh, before we get even get started so this is the platinum coil it comes standard on the um, life planner the coiled life planner and it is a sturdy spiral bound um, spiral bound coil so uh, the ends are tucked in really nicely so it won't unravel and it's it's pretty sturdy so it won't get bent out of shape um, but right here you have a option for customizing before we even like move on to anything the um, the platinum the silver color comes standard but there are also options um, for a little if you there's an additional fee but you can buy um, you can get the gold coil uh, the rose gold or the or the black color so um, so that's one option for customizing your life planner. Um, the next option, if we're going from the outside in, is the cover. So the covers on the Erin Condren life planners are just amazing. You can, when you go to their website and you click, you know, on the life planner, you're given a whole um, selection of covers to choose from. So you can pick the cover that you like. But not only that, you can customize it. So, for example, this cover is their snowflake cover, and I had the option for putting on my name. Um, you can use a business name, you can put the year, you can put um, all kinds of, you know, whatever, whatever you want, or you don't even have to put, you can leave it blank. Um, some covers, if you left this blank, it would still have sort of a blank space here, so um, in my opinion, like I would want to definitely put something here, um, but there are other covers that are just full on design. So if you didn't customize it, it would look just fine. Um, but not only that, that's the obvious thing is putting your name or, um, or some kind of monogram here. But the other thing that you can customize on most of the covers, it depends on the design that you choose, um, are the colors. So this one is are the colors that are actually displayed on the website for this cover because I really liked them but I could have decided you know if I wanted this back this blue background to be red I could have made it red or green or yellow you know there's a rainbow of colors to choose from but I could customize the background on this cover I can customize the the blue in the snowflake and also the white in the snowflake. So if I wanted to make it a green background with a red here and uh, and white here, you know, that's sort of festive, um, I could do it. And the best part is that the, the picture of the cover on the website updates in real time so you can see exactly how it's going to look before you order it. So um, if you don't like that the color combination or how it looks together, you can choose a different color, which is really, um, which is really nice. You want to make sure it looks good. Um, the other thing, there are 
there are covers with photographs. Like you can upload your photos and create a collage for your cover or just use one single photo. So that's really great for businesses too. Like if you happen to use this for work, you can highlight your products or services on, on the cover of your planner. And if you take it to clients or wherever you go, um, you've got sort of a little advertising things. It's so unique that people will probably ask you about it. Um, so it's a good way to showcase your business as well as, as your family if you use it for personal. So, um, so let's move on to the inside of this, uh, this planner because, oh, oh, before I forget, the other, um, the other thing about the covers is that they're interchangeable. They actually come off. Um, you can see that. So you can, you know, this is my, a winter sort of theme for this planner, but I have other covers. Let me snap this back in. It just snaps right onto the coils. So um, I can change the look of my planner throughout the year. So for example, here's another cover that I have. Um, and this is more, you know, a spring or general type cover. So I could use this anytime. Um, but I can just, you know, whenever I want, I can snap this one off and snap this one on. Here's another one. This one came in the um, winter surprise box. It's a black and a gold, and this one is not personalized. Um, so it's an all over kind of design. It's in this uh, sleeve right now, but um, but this is another cover that I probably used at the beginning of the year. It's kind of elegant and festive. So, um, so you can change your colors every month, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, or I think every month is reasonable. You could do them every day if you want, but all right, let's, um, let's dig into the planner itself. So when you go into the planner, you have a vellum sheet and then your introductory sort of page. And as you go through, you're going to feel that this paper is really thick and nice. It's really great for writing on, um, your pens, you know, most, they won't bleed through. I mean, if you're using a, you know, a heavy Sharpie or something maybe, but, um, but in general, it's a nice thick paper and it's a joy to write on. The first thing that you'll see inside the life planner are your mini months. Um, and well, I guess if we're talking about customization, you can customize the coil, the cover. Now you can customize the layout inside and the color theme. So this planner is in a colorful color theme. You have a choice of two color themes, which is are the neutral and the colorful. And this particular planner is the colorful theme. So you see the kaleidoscope design, it's all in color. If you went with the neutral theme, it would be more muted, like with blacks and whites and grays um, and a touch of pastel throughout. So it's a really pretty one too. Um, I like the colorful one, so that's, um, that's why I got this one. So all the tabs are in color in the colorful theme. Um, in the neutral theme, they're all um, either black or gray or, you know, more of a neutral tone, which is why it's called neutral. So, um, so each month you'll have pretty much the same kind of um, situation in terms of pages inside. When you um, turn the month tab, you have a blank page, you have an area for birthdays, monthly goals, a blank lined area, and a dot grid area. And then you go right into the, um, you see they're all sort of the same, go right into the, the month spread. Um, which you can see at a glance your whole month, and I love that. Um, and then you have a choice of three page layouts. Um, you can either choose the hourly, the horizontal, or the vertical. So in this life planner, I chose the hourly layout. And so you see that it starts at 6 a.m., and goes down to 9 p.m. But there are plenty of extra lines at the bottom that you can use um, to extend your day or to write a task list, list or a quote or a reminder, you know, whatever you want to put down here. There's also um, on the side of each page uh, kind of a blank list type area and a mini month at the bottom. So no matter which layout you choose, the horizontal, the vertical, 
or this hourly layout. It is still a two page per week layout. Um, and I do have an example I'm going to show you of the horizontal layout, but it's not in the life planner, in the coiled life planner. It's actually in the life planner binder. But the page is going to be the the um, the page layout is the same. So this is the horizontal layout, um, and you can see that instead of having the days going across and the hours going down, you have still the two page per week, but you have um, sort of a rectangular box for each day. And you also have, you know, so it's kind of split into a line. I don't know if you can see the lines, but there's lines inside each rectangle for you to write on. And then there's this sort of blank area that again, you could put tasks or a sticker or a quote or um, however you'd like to do it. Um, I, I like really I can all of the layouts and I'm actually going to do another video on the different um, how to make a decision really on which layout will be right for you um, but that is the um, horizontal layout and as far as the vertical layout goes I don't have a current life planner in a vertical um, layout but I do have an older one so I'm going to show it to you but just keep in mind that the, it's going to be a little bit different for 2020 um, this one is from 2017, so it's an older, every year Erin Condren comes out with a new sort of a theme for the year. So this year is Kaleidoscope, and you'll see like a Kaleidoscope type design incorporated in all her pages. I don't remember what the one from 2017 was called, but you'll see it's a little bit different. So this is the 2017 vertical layout. Um, and so you know, aside from the colors and everything that will be a little bit different for the current year, the layout is still the same. You have sort of each day um, a two, you know, you have the, still the two page per week, but each day has is broken into three sections instead of um, instead of hours like this. So for the three sections, you could do, you know, morning, afternoon, evening, or you could use the top section for um, for home and the middle section for work and the bottom section for family or kids. So you can really um, split it up however it makes sense for you. So um, moving on in the uh, 2020 life planner. So all the months are pretty much set up the same. So I'm not going to go through every single month, but, um, but at the end, there is a little section for notes, and those are some lined pages and um, dot grid pages and some fun little kind of coloring pages um, or inspirational um, pages that you can use. And then there's a section for contacts. And this isn't really your address book, but it's really like, you know, if you're out and you meet somebody and you want to write down their name and their email or um, their phone number real quick, um, this is a good place to jot that down and remember where you put it. Um, and then at the end, there's mini months for the for next year. So uh, you can in the front, you can look back and and look at the current year in the mini months. And at the end are the 2021 mini months, and you can do a little planning. There's some area for um, checklists or to dos, you know, as the little events if they come up, you can jot them down. And then here's a favorite, it's the um, the stickers. Each life planner comes with a set of four sticker, uh, four sticker sheets that are coiled right in, so you always have some stickers with you. I kind of used that one already. Um, but um, they're really actually very useful and, per, you know, uh, functional stickers, little flags, um, little trackers you can write down you know, if you're trying to keep track of how much water you drink, you can check off, you know, write what you're tracking and keep check off the, um, the days that you've done whatever it is you're meaning to do. Um, some little birthday stickers and weather stickers, that type of thing. And then these are like event stickers. And then in the back of the life planner, you get a um, folder. It's a double-sided folder, so you can keep track of loose, loose items. 
as well as a perpetual calendar. And I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's um, useful for keeping track of things that happen on the same day every year, like birthdays or maybe bills that you pay or events that, um, that happen like on September 1st, year after year after year. Um, so that is the Coiled Life Planner. And um, I think, you know, I it's one of my favorite. It's a nice size. It feels really good. Um, it's easy to carry around. Um, and it's just a joy to plan in it. So if you're in the market for a new planner, um, I hope you'll use my link. It's down below this video. Um, and consider the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. This is Nina Nandagopal at almostpractical.com. Please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me at my website. Happy planning!